Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I want to show you how I made this art cover journal. Did I say that right? Art cover journal <laughs> for my new uh, art journal. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird. Anyways, here we are. Just uh, what you're looking at is that I just rip off a page of the journal and uh, cut it out and now I'm gonna start playing with dilution inks and these inks are extremely wonderful I can't stress how much I love them and I sprayed them out and I realized that I didn't put water this inks react with water and yes you want to ink water first ink did I said ink water I'm sorry spray water first and ink afterwards and this is the result you get um, you play around with it, um, you dry it out a little bit if you want, or you can just leave it like that and let it dry, you know, whatever you want. The beauty about this inks is that they blend fantastically, and I really like that. They're, they're re and it really dries um, a little bit fast, so you gotta work a little bit fast. I did just my heat gun a little bit to dry it out better, and then I sprayed water again ink again and I was getting really crazy about the ink I love that ink it's really cool it's actually really cool you can make really cool backgrounds with this ink uh, as long as you know what you're doing and blending the right colors I think you can get great results in your art journal the beauty of it is that the inks are so rich in color it's unbelievable how great it looks i don't even think you can appreciate that on the video but they really look stunning now i'm going to use a template that i have from heidi swap and um you have seen me using this template forever i mean the background that gives this template is really good i kind of did the techniques most of the techniques i used in this was mainly dilution you know diane rivley techniques and uh she says that uh sprays it spray you know you spray the template then turn it around you get the negative and boom you get you know different backgrounds so that's what, exactly what i did i took out some of her stamps i did get some of those stamps in oh my god it's so her and then with my burst line, I start inking around a border. Uh, this border were like circles uh, with like little petals around and or pellets. And um, I just started, you know, doing my thing here and there. And the more I inked around the paper, the more I was getting excited about what the results were going to be with this particular page. And you got to remember, this is supposed to be the cover of my new art journal. So I kind of focus on everything and kind of like make all those techniques that I've seen over and over in videos from the Dan Rivley. I got out my Jelly Roll black pen and started like kind of doodling around the border and i just doodle at the bottom creating flowers so the bottom will be like flowers and the rest of the frame is going to be just circles so that that gave a little different look to everything else i was trying to f make for this particular page the more you see the more you want to draw you want to paint i mean i my mind was just going and going thinking all the little things I could do. This is another technique and of course you have used this making cards maybe or doing your art journal but this is masking most of the border and putting her famous leaves around it on the top just to make sure that the leaves were quite there but not blocking the border that I created on the top of the page. And it looks amazing. Yeah, she's right. Her famous leaves are amazing. I really like it. Now, Bursafine, it's very good for this because it gives you a lot of detail. I'm going to use now uh, the Distress Collage Medium by Team Holtz. This is the first time I use this product. It's really good. It's made by a ranger and this particular medium it's mate. So I really like 
the whole feel about this medium so definitely give it a plus i usually use golden medias or liquitex and there also will be mate i'm gonna use now a little bit of that ink on my ink mat and what i'm using now it's my water pen uh, that I just recently got and uh, these are fabulous to do detailing bringing that ink back to the stamp I did on the doggy on a regular paper was quite good because I'm not using too much water and it's okay you know but uh, be sure when you stamp uh, in another paper the paper is resistant to water otherwise you're gonna have a mess but this one because I used so little, it was fine. You know, there's no, there was no danger in it. So, I just went in there, put some blue, I put some pinks, I put some black. I did play with a lot of stuff. I got new stuff around that I show you in my previous video. And I really wanted to use everything that I had handy. Of course, um, most of the things, you know, they're being quite difficult to get them all together it's been a while and I every time I go to a store I just get something you know and keep it and keep it for a long time until I'm sure I'm I'm ready for making a video about it uh, but I, I quit gathering everything again to make this journals happen and you know art journal I love art journaling who doesn't it's mixed media you know you gotta play with all this stuff it's really cool Now I ink again a little bit more of that. Like I said, I was gonna use blue and pink. So that's exactly what you're looking at. Just some of that into the stamp. Uh, these are also Diane Rivley and lovely, very cool stuff. <laughs> take out my Pigma Micron Zakura pen. Uh, these are awesome because these are arch archival ink and they work wonderful when you want to draw with cupcakes especially or when you want to do art journaling. They're really really good. I love those pens and uh, all I did was uh, you know go over the border uh, to enhance more the pigmentation on the dog I don't the bulldog dog I don't know what you want to call him the crazy dog <laughs> maybe the the work of all this is detail detail and more detail and the more detail you do on your art journal page the better uh, not always it comes out how you want but in this case in particular bringing all the different pens you know like the jelly roll the Sakura, the Copex, everything, it kind of blend out really cool. Um, it needed some, you know, retouch on getting everything more highlighted. So that's exactly what I did. I also used some of that uh, at, at Spica at You, which are glitter pens from Copex. And these are great, especially for art, you know, art journaling and also for cart making. They're fantastic i really recommend them if you want to use them the only thing is that you don't want to put mod podge or whatever medium you're using to cover your images because then the glitter will just won't glitter anymore that's the only little tip i'm going to give you <laughs> just don't use any of that medium on top of that glitter Now it's time to start playing with the Stress Crayons. This is the first time I use this product as well. I really like it. They're very 
uh, creamy, very soft uh, when you use them with the pen as well if you use it with the hand. I was looking to create that dark border around images. Usually you use this in mixed media. But the thing that I didn't like particularly was because these inks of dilution react with water. And I wanted to add water to that crayon. It kind of went not too well. I kind of salvaged the image somehow. But... I think because I'm used to, you know, use acrylic paints and other types of paints, um, you know, these gelatos or the Tim Holtz crayons would work much better in that kind of surface. Well, now I'm going to start working with a mechanical pen and or i'm sorry mechanical pencil <laughs> and um i was just doing or making the phrase art journal with some black acrylic and a brush i just went through the same phrase uh, filling out all the letters I created with my mechanical pencil and um, it gave a very rich black which is really good you know Diane likes rich colors and when she's using black it's gonna be a hundred percent black and when she's using white it's gonna be a hundred percent white so be sure to do that because you're gonna get the same effects that she does when she does art journaling so instead of using you know my pens or markers I rather went with some black acrylic and as you can see it's very rich in color and there's no way you can miss that and it's much easier to use your white pens on top of acrylic than another, you know, color. Plus, I wouldn't use Copics to, to you know, work with mixed media art. It's, it depends on how you're gonna use it. You know, I don't, I, I really don't recommend. But you know, there's other people out there that might do that. I don't. However, you you seen in this video that I use a copic marker only to fill out the pants of the crazy dog, but that was it. Just because it was paper, I wouldn't use a copic marker on top of any, you know, acrylic or inks or anything like that. A lot of my pages, they come out of from my head. You know, if I see an image or if I see a background or anything like that as an inspiration, I would like to implement it on my own way in my art journal. Like, for example, this page, I didn't plan it. I didn't plan using this color, that color, or this pen or that pen. No. You know, I just went along with what I was creating and decided to use this or that pen or that color or whatever you know a lot of people ask me how do you do it and I just keep telling them it's just out of my creativity I don't plan stuff I don't I don't sit there and think and you know break my head on how am I gonna do this but um, that's my recommendation, just let your mind flow. And once you figure out how to do that, trust me, your pages are going to come out beautiful. Now the next step after filling out all the letters with black, I went with my Jelly Roll white pen. And this pen is fantastic for that. Uh, I have used so many white pens and none of them are like what you want. You're always looking for the one that is going to be the winner. And for me, the winner has been the Jelly Roll pens. I mean, like, these pens are really cool to use. I don't have a lot of colors. I just have a black and white. 
I haven't tried colors, but you know, who knows, maybe in the future I will. But the white does stay very well. And when you work also with Copics, if you are drawing with Copics, this particular pen is really cool to use. Um, but for art journaling as well, you know, it all depends on what you're doing. Like I said, it all depends on your creativity and how well you implement your tools, you know, because all of this stuff is tools for you to do your creation, your art. So doodling here and doodling there <laughs> all over the words, you know, to give that you know, funky look. That's really cool. I, I like doing that. Okay, now we're going to go with a little bit of white acrylic um, to enhance more uh, the work. And I grab a nail that it was laying around somewhere that had a very perfect circle on the top. So all I did was, you know, just mash that little nail into the white and just make dots around the paint. And uh, you see the results. It's, it's really cool. Now I'm getting a, a credit card that I was, it was there just laying around. Not a, you know, this is just an old credit card that is expired. So I decided to use it with some white pen to create lines. And that will give you more of a, you know, really cool mixed media look. Well, I think I finally got what I wanted it. I didn't want to go further than that because it already has a lot of detail on it and it really looks very good. So now only what I'm going to do to end this project is glue down the page to the main cover of the mixed media art journal that I'm going to start which is a new start, you know, this is a new start for me to create more and more cool mixed media art journaling. Well, hopefully you learn from this uh, art journal page and uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'm more than glad to answer them for you. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you can also leave them down below. I really hope you like my art journal, my new beginning, my new cover, and the dilution inks are wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>